It's Chris. I'm back. Today I have these. These are illustrious, awesome, great, magnificent, super illustrious, beautiful pens. These are Posca paint pens. Okay, so with the Posca paint pens, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shake them like this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You're going to want to shake them like this. Some of you are going to be really good at this. <laughs> I need a multiple pens. I'm just joking, guys. I need a multiple pen, so... Um, because we're using multiple colors, and we're using this beautiful black paper. This is actually a very big paper. I think it's 12 by 18, so, um... I'm not going to use the whole entire paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. So I'm going to fold it down the middle, get a nice little crease going, <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the scissors and just cut it in half. After that, we're going to grab some tape, okay, tape this corner, corner number two, corner number three, corner number four, four corners down. Now we got it adjusted and now we're going to go ahead and add, <laughs> add our sketch into the paper and what we're gonna do is I'm drawing Sasuke today guys so Chris we got black paper and um, what, 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 what are we doing here what are we doing I shall tell you we're drawing Sasuke so what I'm gonna do is first take a regular number two pencil and go in and um, as you can see the pencil is actually really really reflective you can see it on bouncing off the black paper and that's because if you ever notice when you take a lead like just regular a regular pencil and um, mark down on a sheet of paper like really really dark really um, go over it really dark you'll you'll notice that it kind of glimmers it kind of shines a little bit and that's the due to the reflective nature of the lead and um, what I'm gonna do is I just want to lay out my drawing and we're gonna go in with the Posca paint pens but Hold. We're gonna do something very, very different. We're gonna go and use dots. Dramatic pause. <laughs> we're using dots today, and and we're gonna use dots because we're gonna try and challenge ourselves a little bit. I've actually never done this before, not with colored dots. I've used like regular pencil and just went in and made a bunch of dots to to for like a school project or something. In our class, where I was just drawing, um, we had to do a bunch of dots to make up a bigger picture but for this one I'm gonna take a bunch of color dots and make up a bigger picture and that's that's pretty hard <laughs> it doesn't sound hard but let me explain when you and I actually made a lot of mistakes here because this is my first time doing it. I'm still not that great at it but what we're gonna do is I went in added the white dots first and I made a mistake because I put the dots too close together. It was too dense, and we're, I'm actually not going for like a comic book kind of look here, even though it is an anime character. What I'm trying to do is um, the colors come together and saturate it with just different colors, and I had to give off that illusion because, um, and you know, he's he kind of curse mark Sasuke. He's kind of brown, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bunch of colors to give off. The color the illusion of brown so um, I did make a mistake and I actually also just went in with brown for his face you're gonna see that a little bit later on but instead of using just brown for instance to make brown I'm gonna take a bunch of reds a bunch of orange a bunch of yellows to make kind of a darker color that almost looks brown <laughs> So it was kind of tough, and um, you see, I went in really thick with um, the white, and it just yeah, I'm gonna have to go over that. And I actually did go in and use a, a black paint pen as kind of like a almost like an eraser, honestly, to just go over the colors that I accidentally placed um, in the drawing. So what I went and did <laughs> was I spaced it out. I went in and I spaced the colors out a little bit more. I wanted some of that black paper to show. And I concentrated the colors, the dots, in areas where I wanted to look darker. And I used darker colors as well. So it's a combination of two different things. We're learning here, guys. We're learning. So the areas that were darker had more dots. 
and the areas that were lighter had not as many dots, still had a good amount, but it had also lighter colors, more yellows, more whites, more lighter oranges. And um, for the shirts, I could have actually went in and um, went in and just used multiple colors for the shirts, but I actually didn't do that. I didn't want to get too complicated with it, um, so I, I didn't end up doing that. I just kind of focused on getting the skin to look very saturated with a nice combination of different colors. Um, I didn't do so much with the shirt because I would just be adding a lot of uh, green. I guess that green and red would be the only other colors I could add because the purple wasn't showing up that well. It was kind of too dark given the black paper. So I just kind of wanted to go in with lighter colors to I think brown was the darkest color that I ended up using, um, not counting the black as an eraser. But it was a learning process and um, I, I got the colors to come in and blend really cool. So it, his skin doesn't look red, it doesn't look yellow, it doesn't look orange, it just looks like a, a nice cohesion of different colors melting together. And um, I'm going to try this again in the future. I think this was this was pretty good, right? For, <laughs> for a first attempt, this was pretty good. And um, you know, I'm happy with it with how it came out um you know when i was doing this i was thinking of like the pixels on a, on a tv screen how they just come together to form a picture because i think um tv pixels are probably only like four different colors and i think that's yellow green um red and blue no there's no yellow it's just green red and blue only green red and blue come together and um make all the colors that you see on tv and that's a more sophisticated thing because there's also light involved, but um, that's kind of what gave me the idea to go ahead and try to you know, blend these different pixels together. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, hope you guys learned something. And I'm going to try this again in the future, but other than that, I shall see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go ahead and like, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> If you have any questions, comment below. If you have any suggestions you want me to draw, comment below. Um, comment below. <laughs> and let me know what you think. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.